We start with four, but in the end, there can be only one. Kia ora, call Chris Aho, and this is Brain Busters. Who has the mind power to make it all the way through the rounds and end up at this, the Brain Buster? Tyler Nathan Wong here. We start with four players, but only one can be crowned champion. Who will it be? Let's test them and find out, Chris. Kia ora, Tyler, and don't forget, you can play from home as well. So let's meet today's Brain Busters. Hi to my welcome to Brain Busters. Today we have four players hoping they've got what it takes to be called the ultimate brain buster. We'll start with Mega Memory before making our way into our specialist subject rounds where our players can choose from six of our options. They'll hope to gain enough points to stay in this game and avoid elimination. So let's meet them now. First up today, it's Touch Rugby superstar Katie joining us. Welcome to Brain Busters, Katie. Talk to me about Touch. I hear you just started up the season. Yeah, well, we're pretty good so far. We have won all of our games. Our team's called the Pink Princesses. What made you guys want to start up a team? We were just playing at school and then they needed one more to play Touch and they asked me. And, and now you're undefeated. Do you think you can go undefeated today on Brain Busters, Katie? Hopefully. Good luck to you. Brock joins us on the show as well. Now, Brock, pretty handy with a BMX is what I hear. Talk to me about your BMX journey. Um, I started um, balance biking when I was little and then I gradually went up to a bigger bike and just been racing ever since. And racing pretty successfully as well. Talk to me about the Ames Games, Brock. Uh, so we flew up for Ames Games. It was, first day was pretty good and it got really wet, but we managed to pull off get in the win. A victory at the Ames game, which is pretty impressive, Brock, so congratulations. Where are you wanting to take it in the future? Maybe riding overseas. Awesome. Well, all the best. Focusing on Brain Busters today, though, do you think you can become a champion as well? Hopefully. Good luck. Nikita joins us on the show. Nikita, welcome to Brain Busters. Now, talk to me about Roller Derby. We do trainings every Sunday and it's basically we just go on roller skates and you have a pack and the opposite team's jammer has to try and break through your pack without getting pushed out and every pack that you break through, through is four points and whoever has the most points wins. I've seen a couple of clips online and stuff and it is an intense sport. Very physical. How did you get into it? Um, my dad's girlfriend played roller derby, so just kind of saw her play roller derby and watched a roller derby game and wanted to try it out, so I tried it out and then I got into my first Younger Games. Oh, congratulations. There we go. So clearly very competitive as well. A key skill to have here on Brain Buster, so good luck, Nikita. And we also have Connor joining us on the show today as well. Connor, welcome to Brain Busters. When you're not here on Brain Busters, what do you like to get up to for fun? Uh, I like to go help out down at our local garage because I find vehicles in general quite interesting. And is that something you want to do when you're a bit older as well? Uh, yeah, I was hoping to go into the Army as a mechanical engineer. Very cool. Uh, now you're also living on a farm, right? Ah, uh, yes. So what kind of responsibilities do you have? Uh, well, it's a bit of everything sometimes. You help out down at the wheel shed, but it's mainly running the dogs and moving sheep around. Sounds like a lot of responsibility. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. You get used to it though. And do you think you can become a Brain Buster champion, Connor? Oh, I really hope so. Good luck to you. Thank you all for coming on to the show today as well. I won't keep you waiting. We'll get straight into the first task of the day. It is Mega Memory. 10 points for correct answer in Mega Memory. Buzz it and get it wrong, you do lose 10 points though. As always, 90 seconds on the clock, so let's jump straight in. Good luck, your time starts now. Rhyming with sack, what noise does a duck typically make? Connor. Quack. In which country would you find the city of Rome? Connor. Italy. True or false, sharks do not have any bones in their body? Connor. True. 
Which of these is the correct term for a baby goat? Lamb or kid? Katie. Kid. How many years of marriage does a golden anniversary celebrate? Connor. 50. Correct. King Julian is a character in which film franchise? Katie. Madagascar. In which movie does a fish named Dory help Marlon find his Nikita? Finding Nemo. Origami is the art of folding what material? Nikita. Paper. What time in the evening does Seven Sharp begin? Connor. Seven. How many wheels does a unicycle have? Connor. One. What letter comes after A in the English alphabet? Katie. B. What colour is Kermit the Frog? Katie. Green. When the inventor of the Pringles tube died, were some of his remains buried in a casket or a Pringles can? Katie. Casket? It was, in fact, a Pringles can. Who knew? Don't want to go opening that can up and eat some chips, do you? Anyway, that is it for Mega Memory. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Connor has the early lead with 60 points. Katie is on 30 points. Nikita has 20 points. And Brock has zero points. So now we move into our specialist subject rounds. And starting today will be Brock. So what would you like to play? Identifier. Thank you very much, Brock. Let's play Identifier. Brock, please step forward. It's time to take on Identify. Good luck. Here we go. Identify three terms that are associated with the water cycle. Close, Brock, very close. Had rain, had clouds, but evaporation was the other option needed to get the points there. Identify three natural animal habitats. Missed by one again, sorry Brock. Tundra needed this time. Identify the three terms associated with changes in state of matter. Sublimation, melting, and condensation, the correct answer there. Eliminate three creatures that cannot fly. There we go, Brock. Points on the board. Nicely done. And finally, Eliminate the three that are not bones in the human body. That's a good way to finish off. Brock, a little bit unlucky there. A tricky start, but really brought it home at the end. So nicely played. Thank you very much for taking on Identify. Brock moves into second place with 40 points. And next up to take on their specialist subject round today is Nikita. So, what have you chosen to play? Blueprinter. Thank you, Nikita. Let's play Blueprinter. Nikita, no my hide my. Nikita, what made you choose Blueprinter as your chosen subject? I just like memory games a lot. Good luck. Let's get into Blueprinter. 30 seconds to have a look at what it is. 30 seconds to lock it in. Here is your Blueprinter. Anatomy of a puffer fish. Very cool design there. Your time starts now. Meet the puffer fish, the ocean's quirky inflatables. When danger lurks, they gulp water or air ballooning into prickly spheres that predators think twice about nibbling. Their spiky attire isn't just for show, it's a clever disguise making mealtime a tricky guess for the hungry hunters of the deep. 10 seconds left. It's time to 
time, 30 seconds to put your answers in, which starts now. Halfway. 10 seconds. A little bit of time if you need to change anything. Five seconds. Three. And that is time. All right, Nikita, let's take a look. First one, please. Not the start we're hoping for. Heart, unfortunately, is in the wrong place. Liver is correct, though. So there we go. 20 points. Nice. Swim bladder, unfortunately, is also incorrect. The gills is incorrect as well. What about the spleen? Also incorrect. And I think you had it in the right spot before you moved it. So, Nikita, a little bit unlucky. But still, you stood up to the plate and took on the challenge. That's what it's all about. Thank you very much for playing. Nikita is now second equal on 40 points. And just like that, we are halfway through our specialist subject rounds. F R K N A. Katie and Connor will take on their specialist subjects, but all of our players are hoping they can head to the Brain Buster. Only one player can make it through to Amygdala, where they turn points into dollars. But first, they've got to conquer the parietal lobe, the web tunnel, and the frontal lobe. I reckon they've got this. Next up to take on the Whittle today will be Katie. So Katie, what are you going to play? Spellbinder. Thank you very much. Let's play Spellbinder. Katie, no my hore moi. Katie, gone with spelling today? Yep. All right then, let's get straight to it. 20 points for every word you get correct. So good luck. Let's see if you're walking back with a whole lot of points. Here is your first word. Public. P-U-B-L-I-C. Lovely start. Your next word is... Giraffe. G-I-R-A-F-F-E. -F -F -E. Correct. Temperature. T-E-M-P-U-R-A-T. T-E-M-P-E-R-A-T-U-R-E. -E -E. Spell sarcophagus. S A R C O P H O G U S. You are so close. Katie, you're just one letter off. S A R C O P H A G U S. Very good effort on that word. And your final word is revel. R E V I L L E. R E V E L for Revel. Katie, that was a very good effort for Spellbinder and oh, so close with a couple of those words. So great job and thank you for taking on Spellbinder. Katie is in first place with 70 points and we have one more player remaining to take on their specialist subject round today. That player is Connor. So Connor, what are you playing? Uh, I would like to play Sequencer. I think we can make that happen, Connor. Let's play Sequencer. Connor, please step forward. Connor, final player today, taking on your specialist subject rounds. You've been waiting for a little while, so how have you been feeling waiting there at the back? Oh, a bit nervous, but I think I could do this. I reckon you can as well, Connor, so let's jump straight into it. Here is your first sequence. iPad, iPhone, iPod. Sort these Apple products in order of initial release date, from earliest to most recent. Correct. Half-Blood Prince, Order of the Phoenix, Deathly Hallows. 
order these Harry Potter books from earliest to latest release. You a Harry Potter fan, Connor? A oh, little one. Let's see if it's enough. Not quite. Tricky one. Order of the Phoenix was first, then it's Half-Blood Prince, and then Deathly Hallows. Of course, book number five, six, and seven. Telescope, mechanical clock, pocket watch. Sequence these inventions by chronological order, earliest to latest. Great effort, Connor. Jesse Owens, Tiger Woods, Muhammad Ali. Arrange these American sports stars in the order in which they were born. Jesse Owens, born first. Then it was Muhammad Ali, and then Tiger Woods. And finally, Hungary, Germany, Finland. Place these countries in alphabetical order. You singing the alphabet song to help you with that one, Connor? Ah, uh, a little bit, yeah. Think you've got it right then? Very much hope so, because otherwise I need to go back to primary school. Let's take a look then, Connor. No need to take that trip back to primary school. You've got it right and you've got a whole lot of points. Connor, well done and thank you very much for playing Sequencer. Connor is back in front with 120 points. Katie has 70 points. Then we have Brock on 40 points and Nikita also on 40 points, which means we go to a tiebreaker round. So here's how it's gonna work. Brock and Nikita, I will ask you both a question. The first person to buzz in and give me the correct answer will go through to the next round. However, buzz in and get it wrong, your opponent will go through instead. Good luck to you both. And here comes the tiebreaker question. What chemical element with the symbol O makes up nearly a quarter of the air we breathe? Nikita. Oxygen. Is the correct answer. Nikita, you are through to the next round. Brock, unfortunately, it does mean you've been eliminated from Brain Busters today. Going home with a $50 bank account, though, what are you going to do with the money? Save it. Brilliant stuff. Brock, all the best with the future BMX competitions, and thank you for playing Brain Busters today. And congratulations to our three remaining players. For them, it's one step closer to the Brain Buster. Our three remaining players must stay focused if they want to get to Amygdala. Getting to the Brain Buster will be a challenge but I'm sure they're ready for this. Then are queer, Tyler. And before we head to the Brain Buster, of course, we must take on our Brain Teaser. All of our players have gone through their specialist subject rounds and we're left with two options for them to choose from. Those options today are Reo Rangatira and Equalizer. So, Katie, Nikita and Connor, please vote for which one you would like to play now. All votes are locked in. We will start with Katie, who would like to play. Rangatira. Nikita would like to play Rangatira as well. And Connor would like to play Rangatira, making it three out of three. So let's play Rangatira. 30 points if you buzz in and get the answer correct for the brain teaser. Fail to do so, you will lose 30 points. So let's get straight into Rangatira now. Good luck, everybody. Karafua. True or false? Ma means orange in Māori. Connor. False. That is correct. Connor extending that lead. Is Oamaru in Te Wai Pounamu or Te Ika Māori? Connor. Te Wai Pounamu. Ka Paiho, it is Te Wai Pounamu. And finally, what is a Māori word for five? Connor. Ima. Going three for three, Connor, that is correct. Wow, stealing the show there, Connor. That does complete the brain teaser. 
Let's have a look at the final leaderboard. Connor now has 210 points. Katie has 70 points and Nikita has 50 points, which means Nikita, unfortunately, you have been eliminated from Brain Busters today. Not going home empty handed though. A $75 bank account now is yours. So what are you gonna do with it? I'm gonna put it towards my modeling course. That is very cool, Nikita. Enjoy the course and a big thank you for playing Brain Busters today as well. And congratulations to Katie and Connor. For them, it's on to the Brain Buster. I hope you got your snacks ready because this is about to be an awesome showdown. You ready for it, team? Let's do it. Three, two, one, go! Racing through the Brain Buster today are Katie the Touch Rugby Superstar and Farming Sensation Connor. Will Katie's speed take her all the way or Connor's farm strength push him to victory? Both players flying down the neurotransmitter and onto the molecule steps. Both getting across there with ease. Connor holds the slightest lead over Katie as he uses that double-sided approach with the Corpus Colossum and Katie using that single-sided. Onto the hippocampus now, entering those codes, putting the memory to the test. And boom, down goes Connor's wall, but Katie's follows right behind. It's now a fight to the top of the pile to load. Who's getting to the top first, Connor or Katie? It looks like it might just be Katie. Katie has now taken the lead from Connor, as both players now fight their way through the web tunnel. This is one close race, Fano. This is anyone's game. Look at this. Both our players flying across the frontal lobe too towards the DNA ladder. It looks like Connor may have just taken the lead from Katie as he gets there first, but both are fighting hard. It comes down to who can get the switches in the right place. Who will it be? It's Katie. Katie's got the green light first. She can make her way through the basal gamma, but so too does Connor. Oh my gosh, we've got a sprint finish here on our hands. Who's it gonna be? Katie or Connor? And the winner is... What a race! It does not get much closer than that. I can confirm it, Katie, you did push the buzzer first, meaning you are today's Brain Buster champion. Congratulations. Connor, let's have a quick chat to you first, though. It was all go towards the end. Talk me through the last wee stages of that race. Oh, yeah, I just didn't quite get it. It's a bit slow. I didn't think it was slow. I don't think anyone else at home would think that was slow either. Connor, you were still very, very quick. The way you got across the parietal lobe there was exceptionally quick. So congratulations. Second place today on Brain Busters. So a $100 bank account. What are you going to do with the money? Uh, probably just save it. Saving up for anything at the moment? Uh, not really, just see what I need in the future. A wise move indeed. Connor, thank you very much for taking on Brain Busters today. Thank you. Katie, congratulations. You are officially a Brain Buster champion by the narrowest of margins. Talk me through this final part here. You're going up and over the basal ganglia. What was going on upstairs in your head though? I was really nervous because he was really close to me. I thought he was gonna win, but I just got there. You managed to stretch out the hand, hit the buzzer, and take the victory. So congratulations. One thing left to do, Katie, and it's taking on amygdala. Katie, welcome to Amygdala. An amazing job so far. You've done really good. There's just one more final obstacle to climb over. Are you ready for it, Katie? I think so. Then let's get into it. It's time to play Amygdala. The United States, France, the United Kingdom, Italy, Japan, Canada and Germany form the Group of Seven, or G7 made up of how many countries? Seven. Yep, seven makes sense to me, and it's the correct answer. Which common communication device did Alexander Graham Bell patent in 1876? Phone. Think it could be a phone? Probably. Locking it in? Yeah. Phone, locked in. The phone, or telephone, is correct. Is free running, which is moving through complex city spaces, better known as parkour or parking? Parkour. Correct. 
True or false, the band 660 were named after the street number of a house. False. Listen to much 660? A little. Don't think they were named after the number of a house though? Don't think so. Locking it in? Yeah. Locked in. It's actually true. 660 Castle Street to be exact, down in Ōtipoti, Dunedin. And what type of dancing do performers wear point shoes? Ballet dancing or break dancing? Ballet. Correct. Is lepidopterology the study of leopards or butterflies? Leopards. Lepidopterology. Could spell it for you if it helps. <laughs> Lepidopterology. Maybe butterflies. What makes you change your answer? Seems like a trick question, maybe. On Brain Busters, Katie, we'd never, we would never do such a thing. I don't know. Your choice, though, Katie. Butterflies. Final answer locked in. And butterflies is the correct answer. Maybe once or twice we do a trick question. Into which Hogwarts house does the sorting hat place Harry Potter? Gryffindor. This isn't a trick question? Confident? Yeah. Happy to lock it in, Katie? Yep. Gryffindor is locked in. And you've got it right. Answer that very quickly. I'll take it. You're a big, big fan of Harry Potter? No, I just have watched all the Harry Potter movies a lot of times with my siblings. What are the names of your siblings? Holly and Jack. Holly and Jack. Are they going to see any of the money that you're winning today on Brain Busters? Don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Depends if you keep getting questions right, maybe you'll be more generous. Possibly. Well, let's move on to the next one then. Which Olympic sport has the 10 metre platform and 3 metre springboard events? Swimming. The platforms and boards and swimming. Gymnastics. Final answer. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Locked in. <coughs> Incorrect. Sorry, Katie. On the right track with swimming, definitely involves a pool. They're not swimming in the pool, they are diving into the pool. Diving is the Olympic event. Next question. The Bear Necessities is a song from which Disney film? The Jungle Book. Confident? Pretty. Final answer? Jungle Book. Locked in. And is correct. Final question. True or false? The Earth's atmosphere is mostly made up of gases. True. Big question here, Katie. Get this right. Takes you over two hundred dollars. Think it's true. Locking it in. Yeah. True or false? The Earth's atmosphere is mostly made up of gases. Katie says true. Is it true? <laughs> yes, it is. And Katie, it's also true that you're walking away with two hundred and twenty-four dollars. Congratulations. What will you be doing with that money? Probably spend a bit, save a bit. Share some with the siblings? Nah. Fair enough, Katie. I wouldn't either. Take it, you've earned it. Congratulations, you're a brain buster champion. Walking away with $224. Reckon you're up for the challenge? Jump online and take the test. Tēnā koutou i te mātaki mai. Until next time, that's it for Brain Busters.